Hello. Today I've got for a Waterman pen from Waterman in Paris. Uh, I, I didn't go to Paris to get it. It's, it says it there. Look, yeah. Uh, so this is a Waterman Expert. I picked this up recently, second hand. Not like you know. This is my second one too. Not from this. From eBay. Pre-owned, right? Sorry, I'm in a weird mood today. Um, Waterman Expert, secondhand from eBay. Uh, it comes in a box. Oh, there's the pen in the box, in its little pen bed. Little pen bed comes out. You've got a little Waterman leaflet with all sorts of, you know, usual filling instructions and gubbings and care and all of that. Came with a Waterman long cartridge, which I presume has Serenity Blue in there or something. Uh, and came with a pen. So this is in just a plain black finish with gold furniture, or gold coloured furniture, I should say. Um, so you've got Waterman Paris on the cat band there, and then France on the back, because Paris, right, yeah, is in France. Okay, good. Um, so you've got the bigger ring there and then the smaller cap ring there. Waterman clip with logo, kind of hollowed out middle there. And uh, that is nice and usable with your little lip there for slinging that in. You've got your kind of um, angle cut finial again with Waterman logo. Uh, barrel tapers down slightly and you have... Uh, Another little gold coloured ring before you get to a faux blind cap, which does nothing. Slip cap. Uh, section just tapers down slightly. You've got a nice flare out there and then um, goes back down another ring before you get to the nib, which is a steel nib, a medium in this case, Waterman engraved, etc. Plastic feed. Uh, cartridge converter pen didn't come with a converter now I don't know if these don't come with a converter or the previous owner just didn't include it lost it etc etc handily I've got a few Waterman converters knocking around so I popped one of them in it's nearly out of ink isn't it oh dear um, so you've got plastic onto plastic threads so it's a metal body with a lack of lack of finish, but you've got a plastic thread inlay there, which seals up nicely, and there's no rattle in that. It does post. It clicks to post, which is nice. Um, bringing it up to uh, quite a nice little bit of extra girth there in the crook of my hand. Um, it's a nice length. Uh, I'm not usually a poster, but I do find I write with this posted. Uh, just brings that, it's a, it gets a little bit thin for me there uh, where it rests. But it's a really comfortable section. Uh, just with that little flare out, I find my fingers rest really nicely there. But I just like the little bit of extra width in my hand. Um, so, yep, yeah, that is the part of the pen. Measurements of the pen. So we have capped, uncapped and posted. Um, so post nice and deep as well um, on that little click there. So it feels very nice posted, I must say. Um, weights, I was going to say it's ink to so give or take a little bit, but there's barely any ink left in it. Uh, so you've got 33 gram. 22 uncapped and the cap is 11 barrel just uh it's about 12 up here and then with that taper just down to about 10 there uh not including your blind cap there um section again that's about, about 10 at the top tapering down slightly about nine at your thinnest point your pinch point and then uh just that flare back out really comfortable section that i like it all good. Marvellous. Comparison with some other pens. Here is a tray of other pens. 
Expert by Waterman, Waterman Karen there as well, just sort of pair them up. Uh, you've got your Lamy Safari, Jinhao X850, Jinhao X350, uh, Parker 51, that's the classic one, um, Sailor Pro Gear regular size, and a Leonardo Memento Magico there. How does the darn thing write? Let's have a look. Little bit of zoom, little bit of zoom, little bit of focus, little bit, uh, little bit of focus. There we go. Sorry about all that. Yeah. So as I say, I actually prefer to write with this posted, which is uh, very comfortable for me. So this is. A Waterman expert with a medium steel nib. Ink in here is Pilot Hiroshizuku Compeki. Very nice ink. I like. Um, I was going to say something, but I'll say it later. Um, this is a lovely nib. Really smooth, uh, just a nice little bit of feedback. Um, good flow, very consistent. Uh, let's try a bit faster. Oop, hard start. As I said, the word consistent, I got a little hard start there, but um, doesn't generally, um, but yeah, you, uh, it, it did, what can I say? But I'm very happy with that nib. Um, so this is how it arrived to me. I haven't tuned it personally or anything. Wetness, not gushingly wet, but just a good flow. I mean, Arusha Zuku inks very nicely behaved and lubricated, but um, it's just a good flow. It's, it's nicely tuned, it's not dry, it's not wet. Um, very pleasant to use. Uh, line variation. Maybe it's just because there's absolutely bugger all ink left in it, but you can squeeze out a bit of extra thickness in there. Um, on the stiff side, but it'll give you a little bit. I'm not, I'm not smashing that through the paper or anything um so the measurements i got off that nib with no pressure is 0.6 uh, millimeters so kind of on your th thicker side of medium and then i can push that up to 0.8 towards broad sort of thing um without too much effort but i don't want to do it too much because i don't want to spoil my nice nib in it brah yeah sorry reverse writing Bit scratchy. You can do a couple of words there. Running a bit dry. But yeah, nice to tune nib that. So, what do I think? Well, um, I'm very pleased. I've been shopping around secondary market for an expert for a while. Um, and I've had trouble kind of getting one at the price I wanted to get it at. Basically, I wanted to try it out without breaking the bank. Because um, I wasn't sure on the size, weight, stuff like that, whether it would be comfortable for me. Um, so I wanted to try out secondhand um, rather, than, rather than going too mad on an experiment. Um, I say mad. I think new. I've seen these anywhere between 80 and like 150 
150 pounds depending on like finish uh, you can get more extravagant finishes than that uh there's a lovely one with like a chrome cap and everything um so yeah it does range a little bit um so steel nib pen lack of finish you know it's like do i want to go that far so anyway I'm glad I got this. It took me a while to pick one up at a decent price, and this was very decent. This was £20 uh, off of eBay. Uh, I was very pleased to get that. And then I assumed, well, it must be, you know, nibs knackered or something like that. But as you can see, very nicely tuned. That's the way I got it. Um, so I love the nib performance. I think the section's nice and comfortable. I like... That little click to post and that makes it a comfortable size in my hand uh, depending on um, the size of your hand uh, that could be very comfortable unposted but for me comfortable posted um, very comfortable section there um, as I say it didn't come with a converter I don't know if these come with a converter brand new. If you know that, pop it in the comments. Um, if I was paying upwards of £80 for this, I would expect or at least hope that there was a converter included. So if that's not the case, that would annoy me slightly, uh, given that uh, Waterman converters uh, £5 or whatever equivalent. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't include that in a price point of 80 to 150 pounds. Um, but it's a, it's a nice all round pen. It's good quality build. Um, really great writer. Uh, what I will say is you click to post that, that does turn relatively easily. I've been writing with that. I, I, I'm a stickler for my clip lining up with my nib if I'm posting a pen. And that can move around quite a bit. Again, this is second hand. Don't know if that is a normal thing or whether that's just this particular thing or whether it's been misused or whatever, but I would imagine that it doesn't take too much to get that happening with most of these. Uh, it's a little nitpick. But uh, other than that, I really enjoy the pen. Would I pay full price? Possibly, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've spent more than that on a steel nibbed cartridge converter pen. Um, but it's going to have to depend on the finish and stuff like that. Does it come with a converter? But I think if I was going to spend £80, £90 maybe, I think that would be not totally unreasonable. But a lack of converter would annoy me if that was the case. Um, but at any rate, um, I'm very happy to have picked that up on the secondary market. And I've really enjoyed writing with it for the last couple of weeks. And that's that. Hope you found it vaguely interesting. Look after yourself and your loved ones. Take it easy. Next time. Laters. Bye.